Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I'm going to show you how to make a booktube YouTube thumbnail. I guess this also could be used in any type of thumbnail. You want to make a thumbnail but you're not in booktube. I mean you can watch this video too. Uh, but this is mainly targeted towards booktube content creators because I'm going to be using bookish stuff in my <laughs> thumbnails. So let's get started. Um, I just filmed two videos so um, we're going to be making the thumbnail for um, both of them and then I might show you how to make different thumbnails too depending on um, what kind of thumbnail you want to see. I actually love making thumbnails just because I think it's so much fun and I know that a lot of people have told me they hate making thumbnails. They hate it so much. The way that I do it makes it fun. So get ready, be prepared. <laughs> I'm gonna walk you through step by step. So let's get started. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is while you're filming. So every time before I film a video, I record like a minute long, two minute clip of me posing for the thumbnail. So um, I can play you a little like clip of what I do. I just put on the camera and um, like a press record and I just, go in different poses of what I want in my thumbnails. And if I plan on filming multiple videos in one outfit, I will pose for multiple videos. So I know that for my ebook thumbnail videos, I always make sure I'm headshot on the camera. And then in my other thumbnails, I just pose differently. It's weird how I have it in my brain, but I just make a bunch of different poses for the different videos I have planned for myself. I do this before I even film my video because I may accidentally forget to pose for the thumbnail, you know? And then when I'm done filming, I wanna get all this makeup off me and be comfortable, you know? And um, I'll remember that I didn't pose for a thumbnail after I've taken everything off. <laughs> and so um, I recommend doing it before you start filming so you don't forget. Also, by the way, I film on my phone. So that's, why I'm, that's, that's how I'm gonna walk you through this, is filming on your phone. I don't necessarily know how to do it on a camera, do all these steps on a camera, um, because I don't use a camera, I use my phone. I've used it for almost five years on my channel. I've only filmed on my cell phone and my iPad, so take with that what you will. <laughs> I guess you could use these steps in different ways with a camera too, just ultra it for using a camera. So we're posing, right? We pose. And so now we're gonna take screenshots of my video. So let's do that. Okay, so we have my video here. Okay, it's screen recorded on my phone. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to click the pause button up here, click the icon at the bottom of my video, and then you can like drag it. As you can see, you can drag it. Let's find a pose that we like. I take as many posted post pictures as possible. So there's one that I like. We're going to take a screenshot. Keep going. Take another screenshot. As you can see, I don't like doing this because I don't really like looking at myself, but I gotta take, I gotta, I gotta take the pictures. There's another one I like. I'm just taking all the viable ones and then I will um, pick and choose the ones I like when I'm done taking all the pictures. Nah, I don't like that one. <laughs> eh, no, I'm not gonna pick that. Mm, no. Why not? Just take that one. That's me talking to the cat. <laughs> and so now we're gonna flip through all my pictures that I like. So I'm gonna pick two pictures, my two favorite pictures, and then I will come back to you because I'm picking the thumbnail out for two videos that I filmed. So we're gonna pick one for my age gap romance Rex and one for my ebook haul. So let's do that. Okay, so I picked the two that I like. So we have this one and this one. Very slight changes, but 
I'm not posting the videos back to back so no one will notice, you know? Okay, so when I'm done with that, I exit out of my photos app and then I scroll to the app called Pick Monkey. It's the app with the monkey on it on the bottom left. It's called Pick Monkey. I use many different things to edit my thumbnails, by the way. So this is just the first step where I'll be doing something else in a second off of Pick Monkey. But Pick Monkey is an app you can use. Um, and I think you just have to create an account. It's free. I don't pay anything for it. Um, and you can like edit photos and stuff like that. So we have my two pictures right here. Oh my goodness, look at little Heather on the right. <laughs> I was taking a screenshot of her book and her video. <laughs> um, anyway, we're gonna click on one of them. Now I only use Pick Monkey in here to cut myself out of the frame. So if you've seen my thumbnails before, there is the image of me and I've like drawn myself out essentially. And so this is how I do that. There's also a website called Background Remover. Like you can literally Google Background Remover and um, you can upload a picture there and it'll literally cut out a picture for you. I personally do it this way because I like the drawing part in it, if that makes sense. It'll make sense in a second. So this is what I do. I first uh, touch the adjust button down at the bottom and I adjust my saturation, make it a little more saturated and the levels here and make it a little more saturated too. Just make the picture a little brighter. So that's what I do, I click the check mark up there and then what we're gonna do is you're gonna scroll to the right click the draw button and i like to use white here and i'm gonna outline myself this process isn't my favorite part but i want to do it because it looks cute first i'll do just a general outline and then i can go in and fix all the little details um, later. Oop, that does not look good. There, okay, I have a general outline right here. And so then I'm gonna zoom in and fix all these little details. And see my brush is smaller. You can also click the minus button down here to make the brush even smaller. And so then when you're done drawing yourself out, it'll look like this. And then when you're done, drawing you'll click the plus button at the bottom and then you're going to click the button next to draw called bg remover or background remover so what i do is i just do it manually so you click the manual button on the bottom and then there's a erase button and a paintbrush button so the erase button will erase the background and the paintbrush button if you mess up you can just click that button and fix it so what i like to do is i like to zoom in uh, first and click the erase button and then go like this to get the edges and you can go over the drawing part and it won't count that as a background removal I can also up the size of my brush so let's do all the edges right here <laughs> Okay, once the edges of your image are all done, I like to zoom out and just go for the other spots that I didn't get. Okay, and there you have it. That's what it should look like when all the background is removed and everything. And now we're done with PicMonkey. We're not gonna use PicMonkey anymore. We're gonna click the check mark up at the top. And then once you click the check mark, it'll look like this where there's like no background, it's just you. You can't see the white outline, but the white outline is there. Click save and camera roll. I like to save twice just in case the first one didn't save correctly. So yeah, save twice. And now we're done with PicMonkey. We don't need it anymore. So if you go to your camera roll, they are right here. So this, we're just gonna delete one of them cause we're done with that. Um, and so there it is right there at the bottom <laughs> of all my other screenshots. <laughs>
friends. Um, okay, so I've done one picture. I'm gonna do the other one off camera for y'all. Okay, so both of my pictures have been background removed, whatever. <laughs> and so um, we're now going to airdrop it to my computer. Now I know that everybody does not have an iPhone. So what I recommend doing is emailing it to yourself, emailing it to an email you have on your computer. Now we're gonna go over to my computer and all the rest of this will be on my computer. So what I mainly use is Canva to edit all my thumbnails. When you're done editing on PicMonkey and on your phone, I transfer it to Canva. I love Canva. I edit it for, I use it for literally everything. Even my bookmark designs, I use it for Canva. Um, but today I'm just going to show you how to use it for making thumbnails. So down right here, here are some of the thumbnails I have made. Now, what I like to do is to make my life a little easier is I have kind of like a different thumbnail for each type of video that I do. So I always make this type of thumbnail for my ebook hauls. I always make this type of thumbnail for wrap ups or mid month wrap ups. And then I always make this kind of thumbnail for recommendation videos. And then this one is kind of for miscellaneous ones. So I've used this one for um, five star predictions. As you can see here, I've used it for anticipated releases. Like that's just a different form of kind of like my ebook haul, if that makes sense. I will tweak and change a few things, but I like to have a thumbnail that I could just change regularly. Like the template is always there for me. But for the purpose of this video, we're gonna start from scratch, okay? So what we're gonna do is you're gonna click this button up here after you've created your Canva account and everything, it's free. By the way, I forgot to mention that. If you go to canva.com and you create an account, you get a free account. So you click create a design and then you could literally type in here anything you want. So what's already right here for me because I used it so often, it's YouTube thumbnail. First, we're gonna start out with our background. If you've looked at my thumbnails in the very, very back of all my pictures, it looks like I'm sitting in front of my bookcase back in my college apartment. I like putting that in the background just to show that I'm in front of books, but you can do that with whatever you want. So I'm gonna paste the picture right here just so we have it. Um, so this is the picture I took of my bookcases, what it would look like if I would sit in front of it. Now you can do it with whatever background you have. So I recommend if you're doing the um, video method, like I talked about at the beginning of you posing, maybe step out of the frame for a second and just have a couple seconds with you not in the frame. And then when you take screenshots of yourself, also take screenshots of your background. And so then you're gonna also send that to yourself for your computer too. And so this is the screenshot I use for like everything, all my videos, just because why not? I'm, I'm, I'm lazy, so I'm just gonna reuse the same background picture every time. Um, <laughs> and so then what I like to do is have kind of like an overlay picture. Let's look at like these. Like if you can see there's a white overlay. For this one, there's this multicolored overlay here. Um, and then there's also an overlay for my um, ebook haul. Like it's kind of transparent also. So um, that's what we're gonna do. Um, my picture, I was wearing pink. So I kind of want to do a pink background-ish. So we're gonna go to the button elements right here. Search anything from Canva. Canva. So I'm gonna do pink background. We're gonna see what they have. Let's do, and also this crown, by the way, it means that you have Canva Pro, which is a subscription where you get like more things with Canva. I do have Canva Pro. So for the sake of this video though, we're just going to um, not use anything from Canva Pro so you can see what options there are. Um, I like this one. So let's use this one. We're gonna first go like this. We're gonna stretch it out to the full size of the canvas, like this. Oop. And whenever that happens, by the way, if your picture disappears, click the back button. Okay, because that just happens sometimes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on our image and then we're gonna make it transparent. So you click this little button right here and you go like this. Oop. And you can adjust it to how transparent you want it to be. So I kind of like it right there at 62. Okay, oop, and again, if that happens, just click the back arrow. And so what I like to do with my recommendation videos, if you can click on brooding heroes here, um, I like to make this kind of like outline here. Of, I just like, like the outline part. So we're gonna click elements again, and we're gonna click, I'm gonna just type in 
square. And then I like the ones with the rounded edges, so we're gonna click on that. And then you can make it any size that you would like. Right there, down, and there we go. And now we're gonna change the color. I like it to be black if there's a light um, background color. So for example, for Brooding Heroes, the background's dark blue, so I made it a white color. Okay, and so now it is black. And so now we're going to put in our image that we used. So what I do is I go to Finder and I grab the uh, picture that I want. I want to use this one. So we're gonna click and drag. And then it will pop up in your uploads section here. Don't mind all my <laughs> different uploads here. And so when you upload it, it'll go into your uploads section right here. Right now it's currently loading. So um, right now we're just gonna crop this smaller so I can work with it. And then I like to center this one. So I just make it bigger. And then I like to center it. I also make sure not to have the bottom of the picture cut off. So we wanna make sure that the bottom of the picture touches the bottom of the thumbnail. And so we're gonna be doing that. We're gonna center it like so. And there we are, we're in, we're in the frame, awesome. And so now we're going to make the text part. This is an age gap romance recommendation video. So we're gonna click text and then I'm gonna click add heading and there's a bunch of different fonts you could choose from too if you would like to um but i just click a random font and then i type in the title so i do age gap romance rex okay that's the title of my video and then we're going to pick a font so the font is up here and then it'll like also show you your most recent font and everything and you can type in the search bar up at the top, um, what kind of font you like. So I like calligraphy style <laughs> font. So you can just type that in and it'll curate a bunch of different fonts for you, a part of that style. And so normally for my rec videos, I use this font called Daydream. So we're just gonna click that um, just to keep it consistent. Oops, not the whole thing did it. So we're gonna highlight the whole text click daydream and there we go and now oops the background disappears we're gonna click the back button <laughs> now we're gonna do this we're gonna make it bigger and then I don't like how far apart the spacing is of the lines and so what we're gonna do is click this button called spacing and then you can decrease the line spacing so I kind of like it like that Mm, now that I think about it, I don't want to use the word Rex. I think I just want to do romances. That's what we're going to do. I like it. There. That looks good, right? And so now we're going to add in a few pictures of the books that we're going to be recommending. As you can see in my brooding romance one, here we have three of the books that I recommended. Just because it likes, I like to entice the readers with the popular ones, you know? Um, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so when I filmed my video earlier, I put some of the uh, pictures of the books onto my desktop. So what I normally, it's right here at the bottom. What I normally do um, is when you go to Goodreads, you can just click on the image of the book, enlarge it, and then click and drag it to your desktop. So that's what I do. And so we're gonna click and drag these three books and they will show up in our uploads button in a second there's one two the third one three okay and so then i like to make them all the same size so we're gonna make them probably around that size so i put them on top of each other and make them kind of the same size like so Okay, so they're all the same size now. Now what I like to do is I also like to outline the books. If you can see from my brooding hero, I like they're kind of like to be an outline of the books. Um, you don't have to do this step if you don't want to. You don't have to do any of these steps if you don't want to. I'm just showing you how I make my thumbnails. So um, let's do elements. Um, remember I typed in square. So now I'm gonna click the one with the 
these kinds of corners, regular corners, um, and click black. So now I'm gonna space out these books in the way that I like. So I like to turn them a little bit. So you grab this button and you can turn the books. So do this, do that, and then do this. Oop, let's readjust a little bit. There we go. I like the position of all of these the way that they are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this and size it to one of my books. So I like to put the corners matching them up and I like to make it smaller. Click this and then drag. And now it fits the book. If you zoom in, you can see it kind of doesn't fit it correctly. So I'm going to move it a little bit. And there we go. Oop, zoom out too far. <laughs> and so what you're gonna do is then is you're gonna duplicate the um, frame twice. So you click this duplicate button twice, one, two. And then you fit it to the other books. So yeah, I just zoomed in to get a better view because I am a blind bat, even with contacts on. <laughs> So we're gonna zoom in to see if it fits. It doesn't fit correctly, so we're gonna go like this, go like that, and there. Oh, and this doesn't fit correctly either. There we go, that one's fit. But as you can see, this kinda is on top of it, and so is this. So what we're gonna do is I wanna make that one kinda like pop out more. So you click position to the front, that one's already to the front. So we're gonna click the this one here, position to the front. And so it goes on top of all these pictures. Now when you click the frame, position to the front, so it's on top of this one. I don't know if that makes sense to y'all, but it makes sense to me. <laughs> um, so now it's on top of these two images. And there we go. Now we're going to size the last one. Zoom in, here we go. And then just make this smaller. And that's, that's that. There is our thumbnail. There it is. I also wanna say that you could also blur the images too, the books if you don't wanna like spoil it. So I've done that before. So I would just take the frame, move it a little bit, grab the picture, click edit image and then if you click uh with the adjust button click see all and then right here is blur and so then if you drag it it'll blur the image for you so sometimes i've done that too so i don't want to like spoil it or whatever but today i don't really want to blur it so you don't have to do it if you don't want to and so then i'm going to click the back button so that my frame will go back to where it was now we're gonna go like this and we are done we're done um so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna download and save it as a png file so i click png and then you click download and then it will download it to your computer i will show you how i do my other ones really fast too um, just like a brief overview for you, not as in depth as this. So this one is my weekly reading vlogs for my channel members. <laughs> I, for this one, actually take screenshots of me while I'm talking to the camera. I put them in and then I can size them all the same size and just put them in corners. And then if you type in elements line, a line will show up and you can just put the line in there. That's what I do. Those are different lines. And then, um, I typed in oval or circle and that's this image. And then I typed in a new text and that's what this is. And then I also added my own picture here normally. So that's how I do my weekly reading vlog ones, fairly simple. And then five star predictions is very similar to my ebook hauls. So how about I do my ebook haul really fast for y'all? So what I normally do with this is I keep all the text 
and the background color the same. The only thing that I change about this one each time I do it is the background picture images and me myself. So this is the image we didn't choose from earlier. So this is gonna be my ebook haul picture. So we're gonna click this old one, delete it. And as you can see for this one, I don't have a background image because I don't need one because the books are taking up the space. Um, I'm gonna enlarge it to the way that I want it to be. So I like it kind of there. That's a good spot for me. I'm gonna be moving it around by the way. So then what I will do is I will gather all of the images that I uh, am going to use for the ebook haul and put them on my desktop. I haven't done that yet, so I'm gonna do that later. But just for an example, we're gonna use one of the images from um, my age gap romance rack to show you. Um, so I'm gonna download all of the uh, book images that I've talked about in my ebook haul and put them on my desktop so we can put them into our thumbnail. Let's pretend that King Sized was one of the books that I downloaded in February. So what we're gonna do is this transparent background can be moved like this. So I move it. And then what I do is I click on a previous image and I just delete it. Uh, it might be difficult for you starting out a little bit um, if you are starting from scratch, if you've never done this before, if you can't just delete an image and replace it with another one. Um, but just trial and error, play around with it, see what kind of sizing you like. So what I do is I just drag it to the around the area the other picture was, and then I want it to be in the back of my image, the very back, so I click position and I click two back, so it's in the back now. And then I can frame it to the size that I like. But as you can see, the text that I want, like I want the king size to be shown, you know? So I kind of want it to be like this, but this is covering up the other image. So what I do is I literally just drag it and cut off some of the image, like so. Fairly simple. And so then I do that to all the pictures. Um, I just replace them with new ones. And then when I'm done, I move this back over here go like this, and then hopefully with all the new images, it will be done, okay? That's how I do my ebook calls. You again, you download as a PNG and it'll download to your computer. And then, so with my five-star predictions, I essentially did the same thing, but I have a different square color. And then um, these are just different texts. And then these are little rectangles I typed in. I typed in, I think, rectangle in elements, and that's what popped up if you want like a rectangle behind your text. And so that's what I did for ones like this, if you want one like that. Again, there's no background image, by the way, it's just full of books. Um, for There's the Brooding Hero one, we already walked through that one. And then the last one we're gonna talk about is my uh, wrap up one. So like my recommendation template, what I do is I have a background image and I have, is I have a background image, I have an overlay, transparent, I've made a transparent background, and then I also have the uh, rectangle square here that's black. And then I have an image of myself and then a different text. Um, this one is called, I do not know how to pronounce that, so it's right here for you. Um, so I put that over here, over my picture, because it's clear to read there. And then for this one, is I like to put all the pictures that I read that month. And so essentially what I do is, I download all the images that I uh, am going to use for the video. So all of the books that I talked about in my mid month wrap up for February, I download them to my desktop and then I upload them all to Canva. And so they would be in my upload section like with all my other images here. And then I make them all the same size like I did for my recommendation video when I, re I showed you. And then I also make the frame like I did for my other one, essentially, but I make them smaller so they can all fit. Oh, and then I also have this one. I just made this one from scratch. It's kind of like my weekly reading vlog one, but I just made it one picture right here. Um, so, and I use two different texts. And that's about it. Um, <laughs> that's how I make my many different thumbnails. Um, I don't solely only use these templates I make myself. <laughs> I kind of like to play around with it because I think this is fun. Like. Graphic design is something that's really fun to me. And so, yeah, that's that's essentially what I do. Please let me know down below if you <laughs> liked this video, if this video was helpful for you. Um, I hope it was. Also let me know if you want me to make any other type of tutorial videos. I do have a how to find free ebook haul tutorial down below for you if you wanna check that out. 
Um, but yeah, I hope you liked this video. Please let me know down below. Um, if you plan on using any of these methods, I would love to know. <laughs> um, and if you don't feel like commenting anything like that, you can leave me a computer emoji down below. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all. Thank you.